Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths Key Skill video on finding the equation of a circle using the endpoint of a diameter. Now in a previous video we saw how to find the equation of a circle in general. That if we had a circle like this and it had some centre AB and it had a radius R then the equation of that circle could be written as x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared, where the r there is your radius, the centre of your circle is at a and the b, and x and y are just variables which just stay as x and y. Now let's draw this particular circle. We've got these two endpoints, it doesn't really matter why I put these, we've got like the d minus 1 minus a, the diagram's not going to be accurate, and we've got a diameter, CD, so C is the other end of the diameter. This goes through the centre of the circle, where C is 15, 4. And we want to find the equation of the circle. Well, we can see there's two things we need to get the equation of the circle. We need the centre of the circle, and we need the radius of the circle. So let's first find the centre of the circle. Can you see that this centre is just the midpoint of these two endpoints of the di diameter. So if you have the two endpoints of the diameter, just find the midpoint in order to get the centre. So, remember how you find the centre, the midpoint of two points? Well, you just do the average of the x values and the average of the y values. Now, I'm not going to show the formula, we can do it in our head. The average of minus 1 and 15, well, we add them together and divide by 2. That's how you find the meaning of two numbers. So, minus 1 plus 15 is 14, divided by 2 is 7. And we do the same for the y values. We want to find the average of the y values, minus 8 and 4. Well, we add them together, divide by 2. Minus 8 plus 4 is minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. If you can do that in your head, then please do so. So that's your centre, so we've got the AB. That's your AB. And then we also need the radius of the circle. Now there's two ways of doing this. You could either find the distance between these two points, the end points of diameter, and then if you've got the length of the diameter, you could halve it to just get the length of the radius. Or you can just directly find the distance between the centre of the circle and one of the endpoints of the diameter. So like from here to here, that is the radius of the circle, isn't it? So we're going to use the 7 minus 2, the centre, let's call it M, and we're going to use the, this point here, 15, 4. And you remember, to find the distance between two points, we use this formula. The distance between two points is the square root of the change in x squared, the triangle, the delta there means change in, plus the change in y squared. So, for these two particular points, here and here, what's the change from 7 to 15? Well, it's 8, so it's the square root of 8 squared, plus, well, what's the change in y? Well, from minus 2 to 4, that's a difference of 6, so it's 6 squared. And if you did that on a calculator, I just recognise this as a Pythagorean triple, you get 10. So now we've got everything we need. We've got the radius of the circle is 10, that radius is 10. And we've got the centre of the circle, 7 minus 2. So we can now apply this particular formula here. So let's use it. We've got x minus a. So the a is the centre of our circle. The centre of our circle was this, 7 minus 2. So x minus 7 squared plus y minus b squared. So y minus minus 2 minus 2, so y minus minus 2 is y plus 2 squared is equal to the radius squared. Well, the radius is 10, so it's going to be 10 squared, which is 100. And that is the final answer.